guys, look. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button. Hit the notification bell. You understand me? Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. All right, look, we got to talk. So, last night, you know, Giants outside is whatnot. We were talking about the draft and where we should do with our current top five pick. We currently have the fifth pick in the draft, and it's only going to get worse. All right, now, look, life is about perspective. All right. Sometimes you just got to change your perspective on things, all right? So, some of y'all might be a little upset. Oh, man, we suck. We not going to make the playoffs. Woe is us, whatever. Where on the other hand, you can look at it from this perspective. We're that much closer to a new beginning. Now, th those of y'all know, I love Peyton Manning. That's my guy. Always was a Peyton Manning guy. Always, all right, always was a Peyton Manning guy. The OG Fist Unit soldiers who've been following me for seven, eight years now know how big of a Peyton Manning guy I am. And it's a shame that Peyton had neck issues. It's a shame, like, Sterling Sharp had neck issues. You know, the neck is no joke. It's a shame... Daniel Bryan in wrestling had to leave it alone for a while. WWE wouldn't even clear the guy. He had to go to AEW. He had neck issues. Stone Cold Steve Austin had to stop wrestling for a while. He had neck issues. It cut his career short. You want to know why Stone Cold stopped wrestling early? Neck issues. The neck is no joke. But at least with Stone Cold, we knew what happened to his neck. Daniel Bryan. We knew what happened to his neck. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he had concussions as well, but whatever. He, you know, neck concussion, whatever. All right. Now, the thing is, with Peyton Manning, we knew what happened to his neck. You know why we knew what happened to Peyton Manning's neck? Because the Colts couldn't hide it. Because when it comes to the Indianapolis Colts and Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning mattered. Daniel Jones doesn't matter. So ESPN and FS1 and all your favorite podcasts, they're not holding the Giants accountable for not telling us what's wrong with our starting quarterback. They didn't tell us two years ago, and they're not telling us now. Nobody knows what's wrong with Daniel Jones' neck other than it hurts. Oh, it's a little sore. And then Daniel Jones had a surgery, what, a year ago? year and a half ago he has a surgery and we don't even know what for but you don't have neck surgery if there ain't something wrong with your damn neck and we have the worst offensive line on the planet we've literally about to have five backups in versus the washington andrew thomas ain't playing jms ain't playing evan neal ain't playing we i mean what the hell bro so i'm looking at this from a perspective of I love Daniel Jones. I love the kid. That's still my favorite giant right now. It is what it is. But can you really depend on a guy who has neck issues? Can we really depend on a guy who has neck issues? Every single time Daniel Jones gets hit, what is every Giants fan going to do? Hold their breath. Every single stinking freaking time. He gets hit. We're going to see if he gets up. Every single time he gets hit, we're going to see if he's moving right. I don't need that in my life. Between the fact that the Giants are going to be in position to get a quarterback and the fact that the Giants can move off of Daniel Jones in 2025 penalty free, why not get our quarterback of the future in this upcoming draft? Let him sit behind Danny if Danny make it for a year. And be good to go on a rebuild. Because Shane and Dable deserve a chance to get their guy. They deserve a chance to get their guy. I love Danny. Danny might be able to. He, I'm going to be honest with you. He might be better off in Atlanta. He might be better off in Tampa. He Daniel Jones. I'm starting to get Evan Ingram vibes from him at this point. He might just be better off playing for another franchise. This fan base is never going to love him. 
They're never going to love him. Every time Daniel Jones makes a mistake, they're going to rip him. Every time a backup comes in and gets a first down, they're going to say he's better than Daniel Jones. Like, it's just, I love Danny. He's got all the potential in the world when he's right. I don't know what the hell is wrong with Dan. 2022 Daniel Jones is probably the greatest quarterback in the history of the Giants. I mean, for real, from, from top to bottom. That might be the best quarterback play we had. Outside of playoff Eli. Outside of eight games of Eli Manning in 2007 and 2011, outside of those eight games, Daniel Jones was the best quarterback we've seen in his franchise history. I don't know what happened to that guy. I wish he'd come back. But the fact of the matter is, neck issues are not that's not that's that's not nothing to play with. Why do you want to be tied long-term to a guy with neck issues? I've ever had concussion issues like two of them have neck issues. At least with a concussion, oh, woe is me. I'm going to have a headache. Woe is me. I might end up crazy like Antonio Brown. Woe is me. I might not remember my kid's first birthday 25 years from now. Okay, big deal. But at least I'm functionable. At least I can operate a society. These neck issues ain't no joke. Peyton Manning couldn't feel his thumbs. Peyton Manning couldn't feel his tricep. They went numb. Neck issues lead to nerve damage. Neck issues is the type of stuff that'll keep you from walking, keep you from playing with your kids, keep you from living like a normal civilian. Neck issues ain't no joke. I'd have ever had two of problems. Keeping it a bean with you. The Giants, look, I don't know about Caleb. I don't like the fact that Caleb Williams out here painting his fingernails. That's real zesty. That's real zesty. I don't know if I want to draft no quarterback who painting his fingernails. So I'm not necessarily advocating, oh, let's draft Caleb Williams. The, the, the fingernail painting got me looking a little, I don't know. Remember how I felt about Will Levis putting mayonnaise in his coffee. There's just certain things you don't do if, if you're going to be a successful quarterback in the league. I'm sorry. There's certain traits you just can't display if you want me to have faith that you can be the, the face of my franchise. Putting mayonnaise and coffee and, and, and painting your fingernails is, is, is two of them. So, it doesn't necessarily have to be in the first round. It can be in the second round. Jalen Hurts was a second round pick. It doesn't have to be a first round pick. We could get the future of this franchise in a second round. It does not have to be a first round pick. So, one way or the other, Giants fans, I need y'all need to go in the comment section, throw your FUs in the comment section, and then let me know. Are y'all concerned about Daniel Jones' neck? Whatever the issue is, we don't know what the pro that's, that's what bothers me. We don't know what the problem is. We don't know. I wish we knew, but nobody wants to tell us. Nobody wants to tell us the details of what's going on with Daniel Jones' neck. It is what it is, though. I want your thoughts, man. What, how, how do you feel about moving forward with a quarterback with neck issues? Is he going to come back this year? Like, what the hell? Do you even risk Daniel Jones' health on a 1-18? in 18? Do you do that? What are we doing? What the hell are we doing right now? I need to know. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.